I'm Megan, and thanks for joining me. This is going to be a very simple, sweet, and short practice that I'm calling Flowing on the Floor. It's a practice you can do even in your bed, in your pajamas, but it's a way to find some movement. And I know this time in the winter, we tend to sort of snuggle up and hide more. Well, as long as you're hiding inside, let's go all the way inside and be embodied. So get your mat out or feel free to put a blanket down. You can be on carpet for a little more padding, but we're going to come down onto our backs. And take your legs out long if it feels okay. Take your arms to your sides and just sort of make the shape of a starfish. Spread yourself out. And take a big breath in through your nose and out your mouth. And wherever you are in the day, let the day go. Let that breath out. Take it all away. So you can be in this present space, in this moment of now, and in your breath. We're just going to connect from our brain all the way to the periphery. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, let your awareness flow all the way down to your left toes and through your left leg and thigh and hip. Just connect all the way from the brain to the toes and the left leg. And then do the same with the right side. Take a breath in. And breathe out an image or experience your right leg all the way down to the toes. What does it feel like to be present in this space? And we'll go out to the right hand, working our way around clockwise. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Let the energy of your awareness go through your right arm and all the way through the palm and out the fingers. And then switching the awareness into the left hand and arm, the shoulder, breathing in again and breathing out. We recognize the whole left arm, fingers, hand. And then take a breath for the head itself and see yourself as this five point star. Find the center of that star. Wherever you feel it, maybe it is the navel itself, above or below. Breathe into that space energetically, physically, and as you breathe out, send the energy of your awareness through both legs to the toes, both arms to the fingers, and to the crown of the head. Fully awake and aware of the space of your body from the skin and in. And then as you breathe in, just start to stretch the toes and the fingers, however you want. Move the toes and the fingers. Breathe out, relax them so you can stretch them away. Just toes and fingers. So the most furthest space from your brain, wiggle them, be playful, and let them go. And again, moving toes and fingers. Where are your toes and where are your fingers? And we'll let them go, let them relax. And become aware of your wrists, right and left, and your ankles, right and left. And as you breathe in, move them a little bit. Or you maybe want to do it for a few breaths, but then breathe out and let your ankles and your wrists relax. So see if you can use the movement to help create awareness of these spaces in your body. We're going to go through the joints. So your wrists and your ankles. We couldn't see them when we were just breathing to them. Can you feel them in movement? Any movements that feel right for you. Let them relax. Be still. Doing one more round of movement. And it truly is a round of movement, right? Going all the way around with your wrists and your ankles. And letting it relax. Sense both elbows and both knees couple of ways to move your elbows you could bend them in and out your knees you could just gently kind of I call them dribbling like basketballs dribble your knees and bend them or you might slide your heels in and out if you want more movement so that would move your knees and your hips but see what works to bring you into your elbows and your knees sometimes it looks easier than it is just knees and elbows 
and then be still. Do you have more of a sense of awareness of these spaces? So we call it body mapping. You want your brain to be able to feel and be present in your elbows and your knees. And be still again. What is your sense of awareness? Maybe you feel some tingling. And one more round of movement for elbows and knees. Saying nice things to your beautiful joints, even when they're crabby. And let them relax. And we'll work our way now into the girdles. <laughs> the pelvic girdle and the shoulder girdle. So you can think of where your legs come into your pelvis and your arms come into your shoulders. You can roll your shoulders. You might feel the ground underneath you and move from your shoulder blades or move from your collarbones or use those bony landmarks. And then also your hips. So if you want to bend your knees, sometimes that's a little bit easier. You can move your legs to move your hips or you can move your hips side to side. Be playful, move shoulders and hips. There's no pattern movement here. It's just a way to get in touch with these joints. And the definition of a joint is just that. It's a part of our body that joins two spaces. So right now we're finding the joint between the leg and the pelvis and the joint between the arms and the torso. And be still. Notice what your shoulders are saying to you, what your hips are saying to you. Any movements you want, hips and shoulders. Sometimes I'll even raise my arms up. Create motion because motion creates sensation and sensation is a doorway into your body. And relax again. Do one more round for the hips and the shoulders, any way you'd like. And now you might have more sense all the way from the brain to the fingertips. Take your legs out and your arms back to your five-point star and from the brain to the toes. Just notice anything that's changed and what stayed the same. Now we're going to do a bit more of a specific movement for the torso and to connect those two girdles. So you're going to bend your knees and cross your right leg on top of the left. And then just let your legs go side to side. You can let them fall on the inhale, come back on the exhale. So we're on the left foot. So you might feel your left foot going from big toe side as the knees fall to the right and little toe side as the knees fall to the left. You can do this to your breath if you'd like. As I said, let them fall on the inhale, come back to the center on the exhale. Don't have to though, you can just feel the movement. See how you can feel it through your legs and your hips. Maybe your head wants to go side to side too. Do one more to either side. And I hope you are in your pajamas doing this, staying grounded. Now relax the legs at the center. You're going to take your arms up and take your palms um, like you're taking prayer hands. Press your palms together lightly to create some stability in the arms and soften your shoulder blades down to the ground. So if they're lifting, just gently press them down without bending the elbows. Let the arms go from side to side, just like you did with the hips. So you want to think your arms are moving, but you want to let your shoulder blades roll. Keep your head down or if you need something underneath it, you can do that. So I'm inhaling to one side, exhaling back to center. So it's a rotational movement for the shoulders. Sometimes it helps to think like you're climbing a rope. Or think of if you're rolling to the left, lift your right shoulder blade and collarbone off the ground. If that's too much thinking, just embody it and be it and roll. And then back to the center. Pause for a moment, give yourself a hug. And then we're gonna put these two movements together, the legs and the arms. But what we'll be doing is taking the pelvis one direction and the shoulders the other. 
not to confuse the brain. <laughs> so hands go up. And then as you inhale, let the legs fall to the left and the shoulders to the right. So think lift left shoulder blade and right hip. Exhale back to your neutral center. Inhale, right shoulder blade lifts, left hip. Exhale, center. And for me, my head naturally wants to follow the direction of the hands. So I'm just letting it roll. Notice how much you feel now, right? In the juicy center of your torso. That's what I like to call it. You want to hydrate and move that juicy center. Nothing forced. And if it seems that your head is rolling one way naturally and easily, try to look the other way. So for me, the challenge is in looking away from the hands, looking in the direction of the knees. The other thing is I'll find my hands start to slip this way. Try to keep your hands right in line with the shoulders. It may help as you're breathing in, think of expanding the rib cage. And just do one more to either side. And we're actually gonna take this into a resting position. So next time your legs fall to the left, take your arms down and just let them fall. Stay there for a few breaths if it's comfortable so you can get your right toe down on the ground. Ground into that space. If you want to get more stretch for the right side body, you can reach your right arm overhead a little bit. Look for a lab over there. <laughs> Take a few breaths into that right side. One more nice deep round of breath. Image whatever space it is that you can feel opening up to you, revealing itself to you. Might be a hip, anywhere that you feel tightness, any sort of restraint. And then come back. We're going to go the opposite way. Fall onto the big toe side of your left foot. Let the legs fall to the right. And if you want, you can take your left arm overhead and just feel through that left side body. Whatever is presenting to you. Notice any restrictions. And meet them with a smile. Keep relaxing the weight of the left shoulder blade. Feel the weight of the legs just falling to the right. Not a stretch, but an opportunity to be present inside of your body. Maybe even think about your spleen, your stomach and your left side. Say hello, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is for you. Breathe into your left lung. Let the weight drop. Two more rounds of breath. And breathe out. Come back to the center. Uncross the legs. Come back into your five-point star position. Be still at your center. So wherever you found your center in the beginning, get a big breath into your center. And then breathe out all the way to the fingertips, the toes, and the crown of the head. Connect yourself with your mind's eye through your breath. Like your breath can channel from the center of your being and all the way out to the periphery. And imagine all your nerves carrying the information from the brain through the spinal cord. But energetically, we carry it from, the, from our center of our abdomen outward. And we're gonna do our second side. So you can slide your arms down, bend your knees. Cross the left leg on top of the right, just letting it hang. Familiarize yourself with your right foot on the floor. I like to keep arms out at the sides just to keep the shoulders more stable to start. And feel the big toe and little toe side of the right foot. As you inhale, let the legs fall one direction. Exhale back to center. And inhale, opposite direction. 
You might focus on moving from the right leg and just letting that left leg have a ride. And these are really accessible. You can do these while still in your bed in the morning as a little wake up, find yourself, and land and locate. I find that January is the month where many of us put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be a certain thing or do things a certain way or more than likely not do things anymore. So let this be something that you want to do to be present in your body in a space that feels safe and comfortable and offering yourself loving kindness. The undoing of the doing, I call it. And take one more from each side. Just a simple, soothing, rocking motion for the legs, the hips, the pelvis. And then back to the center. You can stay flat on your right foot. Take your palms up again. So we already did this movement on its own, but we'll do it one more time with just the shoulders. So you can go to the right first, lifting the left shoulder blade. And the second time you might notice you have a little more mobility too. Inhaling to one side, exhaling back, feel your shoulder blades land. Inhaling, one shoulder blade lifts and you can feel the weight going into the other one. So these simple things of learning to use the floor or your bed for feedback. Feel when your bones land, the way the base of your skull rolls. And it's not a contest to see how far we can go. It's when do you start to feel the motion and how do you feel it? Come back to the center, let your arms drop for a moment. Give yourself a hug. Give the lab a pet if you've got a lab. I happen to have a Bodhi right here that wants some pets. And then we'll put that together. So palms together. Let your legs hang, feel your right foot. And as you inhale, let the legs fall to the right and the arms to the left or go the other way first. And exhale back to center. Inhale opposite direction. So think of your pelvis and your shoulders doing a happy little dance. And they're going in the opposite direction of one another. And then they meet back in the middle. And just feeling that little bit of a spiraling motion in your spine and your juicy center. Notice which way your head naturally rolls. And if you wanna give your brain just a little bit of a challenge, a little kick, try to look in the opposite direction of where your gaze wants to go. So that might be towards the knees or towards the hands. How does it feel to let your upper body go in one direction and your lower body go the other? And there's a whole subtle body aspect to this because our midsection is an area that divides our lower body, which is our body of, let's say, our humanness, but <laughs> survival instinct with our upper body, which is our body of intellect and spirit. And we'll take the hold on this side too. So you can let the legs fall to the left and let your arms come down. As the legs fall to the left, if it feels okay, you can slide your right arm up overhead. Just be in this space of right side body. Just letting the weight of the left leg gently draw the right leg down and lengthen your hip. Visualize that right side, the liver. You can even think of your colon, all of your di organs of digestion, this gentle twist. 
Keep relaxing and releasing the weight of the right shoulder blade to the ground and letting that right hip lift. Again, opposite directions. And then come back to the center. Pause for a moment and we'll just take a small hold the other way. So the legs will work well with gravity just falling to the right. You don't have to force them down. You can take your gaze wherever your neck is comfortable. If the left arm wants to reach overhead to get more length through that left side body, you can go there. Be a feeler. Feeler for your left side. You can even use your right hand and touch. Touch the space where you feel the most sensation. For me, it's right in my hip. Let your hand just land there to create more of a presence of awareness. Don't run from it. See what it wants to say. Always being considerate, if nothing else. Although loving kindness goes a long way for yourself. Breathe into your left lung. And slowly we'll release. We have one more movement we're going to do here. But before we go into it, take yourself into your five-point star again. Let your legs land in your arms. Find and locate yourself from the center of your being, wherever you feel that. Maybe it's changed. Breathe in and land in the center and breathe out and send that energy and awareness all the way out to the fingertips, the toes, and the crown of the head. And the last one we're going to do, I call big and little. And this is one of the ways I like to wake my body up. So let's give it a go. As you breathe in, reach through your fingers and your toes. And make yourself as big as you can. So it's fingers and toes, but think whole leg line, whole arm line. And once again, your, your pelvis and your shoulders are going opposite direction. Shoulders going overhead towards your head. Pelvis going towards your feet. And then as you exhale, we're going to go small. So you're going to bring your legs into your chest. You can squeeze your legs with your arms and lift your shoulder blades. If it's okay for the neck, tuck your chin towards your chest and lift your head up too. Squeeze everything in. Take a couple breaths there. And then release again. Land. Let go. We'll do two more rounds of that. Inhale, you might notice how your back arches as you reach. So we're also creating flexion and extension for the spine in this one. But you're big. Your star is as big as it can be. Stretch it out. Feel it all the way through from the center of your being through fingers and toes and head. And let it go. And then when you exhale, draw your legs into your chest. You can bring your shoulder blades up. Curl into a little ball as tight as you can. I like to even draw the tops, the feet towards the shins. Everything, it's like you have the, that center is now like a vacuum and everything's getting sucked up into that center. And one more breath there. And release it. I'll do our last round of big and little. Create that, that bigleness. I don't know, it sounded like a word to me, bigleness. And this bigleness for me wants to be a little wiggly. So you can reach through one side and the other, pushing through the heels and the fingers. So it's your body, it's your playtime in your body. But maybe a little wiggling along with the reaching, feeling that arching spine and back. And let go, relax it. And then as you breathe out, think of shortening the space from your pelvis all the way to your shoulder blades or your collarbones. Squeeze it in. So 
tightly closing off that front body. Notice how your back body is long now, but the front body is supporting that. And let it all go. Back to the five-point star. We'll, we'll just land and locate one last time. Find your center. Breathe into your center. Breathe out. Feel all the support around you and underneath you. Let the muscles relax onto the bones. Feel the weight of your bones. Your bones are appreciating gravity. And sense your breath. The ebb and the flow and the rise and fall. Still breathing into the center and breathing out to the periphery. Own all that you can see and feel throughout your whole body. And as you continue to breathe, if there's an affirmation or just a kind comment or compliment that you can offer yourself, breathe that into the center of your breathing, of your, of your being. And as you breathe out, Imagine that thought, that image, intention flowing freely through all parts of your body, through the pelvis and down each leg to the tips of the toes, through the shoulders, out the length of the arms to the tips of the fingers. And from the abdomen, through the heart center and the throat, and all the way to the crown of the head. Every muscle and nerve, every cell of your body, every tissue in your body, accepting that information. Three more rounds of breath. Fill your body with your intention. An image, a space that you go to, anything that feels loving and kind and whole. Begin to deepen your breath. Invite that vital air back in, into your heart, your lungs, to all of your organs. The next time you take a breath in, take a full body stretch, reaching up and out. As you breathe out, release. Find yourself rolling onto one side of the body as you feel ready to. If you're in your bed, stay there. Don't be in any hurry to get out of your pajamas because it's January. It's that time when nature nourishes us and says, please sleep a little longer. Stay in your pajamas. Have some hot soup, hot tea. Enjoy the calm and quiet of winter. Thanks for joining me on this January day. Peace, joy, love, and light.